Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome to today's session on one of my favorite subjects, uh, which is Moodle. My name is Nelly Deutsch. And if you're new to WizIQ, give me a thumbs up. If you're not new to WizIQ, give me a smiley. Okay, so thumbs up if you're new, smiley if you're not. And um, you can also add where you're coming from. If you're hearing me, that's good. But uh, if anyone should lose their audio uh, during the session, for some reason, please feel free to either email me at nellydeutsch at gmail.com or email support at wisiq.com or both, okay? So we can get things uh, cleared out. Now, um, so everybody is uh, not new to WizIQ. All right, not new to WizIQ. That's great. All right, so there's no need to uh, explain anything. Right now, you're uh, sitting where you are in your homes and you're just listening to me. Um, you've got your fingers maybe on the keyboard. If you could share, where exactly are you and what are you doing? See, I'm talking, so I know what I'm doing. And I'm also um, on the mouse. I usually have my finger on the mouse. doesn't matter, you know, what I'm doing. And you'll see this in the recordings on YouTube videos that my mouse is constantly moving. I guess that's like, oh, you're drinking, studio drinking, mat. What is that? Sounds like milk. Well, I'm drinking coffee. It's actually an espresso. Uh, there's a new cup that came out, really interesting. I don't know if you can see that. But it's a cup within a cup. Isn't that amazing? It's one cup within a cup. It's really uh, cool to hold on to. I'm not sure if I like the idea of having a glass. I prefer a cup for coffee. So it's like a glass of coffee. I don't know where Nespresso got the idea. I believe Nespresso are based in Europe. I think France, are they not? Anyways. You can go without your coffee, Patricia. Well, how do you like your coffee? Okay, um, I used to bring coffee to class. I mean, I used to put it on the, um, you know, an image of uh, a cup of coffee and some cake on the uh, whiteboard, and that's how I would start. I don't do that anymore. Maybe I should continue with that. All right, so we've got people from all over, coffee and milk, with milk, no sugar, with sugar. I wish I could serve you. I wish you could... Uh, actually be here and see my coffee. I can also make you coffee. Uh, that would be great. But right now we're limited because this is a virtual class, which means that it's not really real, even though it is in many ways, but we're not actually in the same physical room. We're in different rooms from around the globe, which makes it really exciting because we can connect. Today we're going to talk about Moodle. And I'm going to ask you a lot of questions, so it's going to be a lot of chat uh, communication in the chat box. So we've got someone from Ontario, Acton. Whereabouts Nora's Acton? I'm from Ontario, but I don't know. I think it sounds familiar. Probably north, east, west of Toronto. I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. My sister was there traveling with her husband the other day. Lots of interesting places, walking in the park, in the woods. Should go there soon. Tunisia. I wonder what the weather is like in Tunisia and Mexico. Is it hot in those places? All right, so what do you know about Moodle? Okay, M-O-D-L-E. That's right. So what do you know about Moodle? There's an official Moodle song that I love. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It wasn't done by anyone special. It was just created by a students. Okay, there's the, uh, the link to the song. And here is the song. 
one of my uh, favorite songs. But it happens to be about Moodle, which makes it even more exciting. So here goes. I'm going to mute my mic. Hopefully you'll be able to uh, hear and see. I'll make it a bit larger. Hey, you all right, man? Man, I was on Blackboard taking the test, and right when I clicked Submit, it said Error and crashed. Ah, uh, yeah, that sucks, man. I wish every class would just switch over to Moodle like cause. Yeah, everything is so much better in Moodle. Go on blackboard, I go and take a test, it ends up crashing, what happens next? Every time I log on, I get so confused, so many buttons by design, it's hard to use, so now what? What do I do? Oh snap, what's that? It's deja vu, no! But it might as well should be, cause it's always going down and crashing on me. Could it be that it needs to be fixed? Do something nice, no magic tricks. Every time I use, I get a glitch, cheer, I wanna make a switch. No fast way. To move my files, I feel like I'm moving faster in my quarter mile. I think I know what you need now. From black board to the moon right now. M O to another O to the D L E. If I was there, that's where I would want to be. I think I know what you need now. From black board to the moon right now. To another O2, the D-L-E I was there, that's where I would want to be Dr. Kramer showed me the light Signed on to Moodle, it was such a delight Moodle versus Blackboard, ain't no test It's an easy answer, Moodle's the best Blackboard, it just stank Can't even make a permalink Moodle runs so much smoother Edit my profile, ain't no loser Checking your grade, takes five clicks Moodle takes one, it's so quick Easy on the eyes, easy to navigate Yes sir, Blackboard makes me irate Yeah, so Moodle's a beast It plays no games I'm tired of Blackboard Let's get rid of this thing I think I know what you need now From Blackboard to the Moodle right now M-O to another O to the D-L-E If I was there, that's where I would want to be I think I know what you need now From Blackboard to the Moodle right now M-O to another O to the D-L-E I was there, that's where I would want to be. Moodle's so fly, blackboard is junk Do they realize what they made? Kinda sunk that the cream attack the tool I legit, they understand why we needed to switch So many complaints, dissatisfaction Blackboard's out, Moodle's new attraction Say what? You heard what I said, Moodle is in Blackboard is dead So put your hands up Put your hands up for Moodle So put your hands up Put, em up. put your hands up for Moodle I think I know what you need Blackboard, go to Moodle right now M-O to another O to the D-L-E If I was there, that's where I would want to be I think I know what you need now From Blackboard, go to Moodle right now M-O to another O to the D-L-E If I was there, that's where I would want to be Right. Now, I don't know what your speed is, but if you've got um, the 
front of your screen, I suggest you simply minimize it. Yes. Okay, you can minimize anything on the screen. So let me just share this with you in case you need help. All right, now I'm no rapper, but I love rappers. I think that it's a, a great way to get points across. And if you can get your students to rap, that's awesome. And that's the idea. The idea, and that's how it started. The, that Moodle song just came up out of nowhere. All right, so if you take a look at the bottom left of my screen, you will see where it says live video. I click on it and look what happens. Here I am. And then it says pop in. So you can pop in if you want my face. If you don't, keep it at the bottom. Same thing with the attendee list. Okay, I'm going to pop it up. Okay, there it is. Okay, you may not want to see this list. So keep it down, minimize it, or, okay, I'm going to get it back here. But you know what? I don't want it either, okay, unless I want to give you permission to speak, okay? What I do want is the chat. So go down to chat, click on it, it pops out, pop it in, and here we go, all right? So you have the right to actually... Fix the class as you wish. All right, so everything's great. Wonderful. So how do you make this song? <laughs> I just love it. Um, it has everything about Moodle, right? Everything. So what did those guys say about Moodle? What do they like about Moodle that they don't like about other course management systems like BB or Blackboard? Why were they happy with Moodle? What does Moodle appeal to them? If you remember one thing, user-centered. Is that what they said? Moodle is user Did that go into the rap? Okay, what do you remember that they said? You may have to listen to the, uh, to the song again. It's easier, that's right, easy to navigate. Now, what do students need? I mean, what's, what's you know, it's school, right? We're not talking about uh, anything outside of school. One click for the, for what? Yes, one click away for your grades. That's right, Sebastian. That's what kids are interested in. They want to know the bottom line, which is, what did I get? Do I complain? Do I appeal? Okay, so grades, easy to get to the grades. And Moodle has a great tracking system. Yes, the tracking system is awesome. You haven't had a chance to learn about it because most of the courses that I give do not have grades because I hate grades and I hate grading, but I like evaluating students and you can do that on Moodle. All right, what else about Moodle? No games? What do you mean, Thomas, no games? You can have a lot of games on Moodle. Is that what you mean? You want to play games? You mean no playing around? Yeah. Like, they don't drive you crazy. Right, that's the, uh, the slang, right? <laughs> no games. No games, no games. Yeah, today games mean a lot of different things. That's, any ideas when that song was made if you could put a date it's been a while and i think martin was really surprised martin dogiamas because he never expected anyone to just go ahead and do a rap song on moodle you know it was just spontaneous these guys just wanted to do it and they did it 2000 that's right thank you so much maria somebody said 2010 moodle only came out in 2002, 1-2. It came out officially in 2002. I started using it in 2003. So yeah, it's been a while, it's been around. But 2000 is a bit early, 2005. Notice how many different dates we're getting here. And the real number is 2002. I'm talking about the song. When did the song come out on the Moodle? 2002? All right, 2010, shall we vote? 
Okay, anyways, it came out a couple years ago, 2005. I doubt it. The song came out in 2000. When did Blackboard come out, by the way? The song came out around 2010, about three years ago. But when did um, Blackboard come out? Blackboard has always been called Blackboard. It had different owners, um, but it, and it changed from another system, I believe from Angel. But how long has Blackboard been around? That's okay. Welcome. We're still talking about Blackboard, uh, which is the competitor today. But you know what, uh, Century? You know what, um, yeah, the song came out about two years ago. Thank you. But you know that um, Blackboard has been around for a long time, and Blackboard is competing. But as Michael Dogiamas said, the founder of Moodle, he's not competing against anybody. He's not competing. It's not a competition. Founded by Michael Jason and Matthew. Thank you so much, Maria. In 1997, that's right, it's been around for a long, long time. And they are competing. And the question is, what are they afraid of? You know, they're still doing well. They're making money, even though Moodle is free. Um, what's to compete? We're just trying to get the best product out there. 16 years ago. Yes, Letty. It's been a long time. Connect Pro, Nora? What is Connect Pro? You're talking about the live online class that uh, is called uh, Connect or something or Collaborate. I think it's called Collaborate. Collaborate is like WizIQ. It used to be Illuminate until they bought them. Oh, now there's Connect Pro, which is Adobe. Yeah. There's Collaborate, Adobe Connect, yes. Adobe Connect is Flash-based. It, um, it looks like, well, it doesn't really look like WizIQ because it's different. WizIQ looks like WizIQ. It's very, very basic. WizIQ is more like Interwise. But again, we're talking about a uh, synchronous system, and Moodle is. What kind of system is Moodle? M-O-O-D-L-E is what kind of system? LMS or CMS, Course Management System, Learning Management System, Teaching Management System, Instructional Management System. All right, let me ask you this. How many of you have used Moodle in the past? Have you used Moodle as a student, as a teacher? Um, is Moodle something that you're familiar with? Okay, so are have you used Moodle either as a teacher or as a student? Because we are going to talk about Moodle, and I've got a surprise for you, so stick around to the end. It's not going to be that long today. Um, all right, so let's see uh, what the poll tells us. Okay, you've got a chance to vote. And let's see, I don't know how many people we have here right now. Let's see, just for the voting, 24. All right. Oh, I see that Diago has not used it. Uh, Letty, as a student, doesn't matter, as a student or a teacher. All right, so let's see. Um, a few more votes. I see eight people have not. That's quite a few. Okay, 8 out of 20. Let's see, 4 more so we can get an idea. Hello, Brahim. I see you sent me a message. Sorry, I can't uh, really look at it now, but um, I'll try. Anyways, hello. Brahim, try to go to all so that you don't just uh, communicate with me, but you can communicate with everybody. So make sure that it says all. And not just the teacher. Yeah, it's open source. That's very, very important. Well, we need uh, a few more people. Okay, but the I, it's almost equal. So there are quite a few people that have not used uh, Moodle. Okay, let me share the results with you. 
Okay, so uh, I sued it as a teacher and supervisor. Wow, that sounds like, that sounds exciting, uh, Abdullah. You sued it? Why? You sued Moodle? Or did I miss something there? You sued? Used. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't sue Moodle because it doesn't belong to anybody. Okay, maybe that's a good thing. You can sue Blackboard. You can try anyways. But you can't sue uh, Moodle because Moodle is completely free. It's open source. All right, what else do you know about Moodle? No, I say I, I get you. I'm just kidding. I'm sure you... Um, Made a typo there. It's fine to make typos. Feel free to make all the typos in the world. Yes, our fingers. I make them all the time. I've asked uh, WizIQ to have an editor on the chat, or at least uh, to have us go on Facebook. Imagine if this chat would be on Facebook instead of here, and we would be seeing the, uh, the class as well. Okay, Abdullah. All right. So why do I have blocks? Okay, so think of everything you know about uh, Moodle. And why do I have the blocks? And these are Lego. I don't know if you liked Lego as a kid or if you like it now as an adult or... How is it connected? Is it connected? Moodle is block-based. That's right. Block. Okay, it is block-based. Now, what does that mean, blocks? Yes, it is. It's very, very collaborative. Someone in the, um, in the course asked, they want to start some kind of a community. Moodle is a great way. It's not only for courses. What else is it for? I'll just give you a hint. It's for courses. Anything else? All right, I'm going to get you on the whiteboard, okay, so that um, it'll be easier to communicate, and I'm going to need my attendee list so I can give everybody tools. Okay, and um, I'd like you to use the editor. There is a rich, pretty rich editor. It's different. There's an editor. If you could use the editor to write and use your keyboard. Do not use freehand, okay, because I don't read freehand anymore. Okay, so just use the keyboard. There, everybody should have um, writing tools. Excellent, except for two people. Let me give you uh, the writing tools. Now, everybody has writing tools. Excellent. Okay, if you lose it, I'll give it back to you. Okay, so I gave everybody the writing tools. There we go. All right, somebody tried freehand. Yeah, no freehand. Just use, um, if you go to the A, if you hover your mouse over everything, you'll see what it stands for. So there's A. You can also move. If you get out of the, um, out of the pointer mode, you'll be able to move things. It's all movable. And then the editor opens. Just use the keyboard. No drawings, just the keyboard. And please write down everything that you like about Moodle or what you'd like to know about Moodle. Okay, so I'll give you a chance to do that and see how that works. Okay, so what would you like to know? What do you like about Moodle? And Shanaz, you write by going into the text. The text is one, two, three, the fourth icon on the left. If you click on it, it'll allow you to write. So just click on the text and then go to the whiteboard. Click on the whiteboard and it should work. I can screen share to show you how to do that. 
okay that was a very good question because it's not really well it is intuitive but again you go to the a you click on text you go to the whiteboard you with your mouse and you click on it and then you write hello okay there's my hello you can also change the color and the size of hello okay here are different colors let me choose uh, green and you can change the size okay I can get oops I made it really small so let me uh, fix that it's kind of small but I can stretch it okay here we go and I can make it what size should I make it really really big by clicking on it and then I could also make it bold there it didn't work too well did it I can make it bold now once I decide on the size I just leave it and there it is you can play around with this I suggest you create a um, there I'm stopping the screen sharing I, I suggest you create a class of your own and play around with it try it out and even teach you can record the class for yourself and enjoy all right so um, notice what's happening a lot of people are um, trying things out because we're all very very curious and that's an excellent point okay for the whiteboard it's not only always appropriate because it's flash based and things move really fast if you want to have a class where everybody writes you can give if you have let's say five students that's okay but you can divide the class into smaller numbers and then you have more control over what's happening which is what I'm going to do right now I took away your tools what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a breakout room okay so um, let me start that now and show you uh, how it's done okay I'm gonna create a breakout room so that we can have some kind of control yeah it's moving a bit fast yes that's the problem all right so I've got you can see on the screen what I have here I am going to create five rooms okay maybe six okay I'm gonna create six rooms okay so uh, create one two three that's four five and six six rooms because I don't want too many people in a room I want everybody to be able to have fun and if everybody anybody misbehaves and <laughs> we'll know who they are okay so um, I'm going I've got six rooms I'm not going to give them names just call them one two three four five six and then uh, let me start putting people in the rooms okay so room number one I'm gonna move okay I'm gonna start the breakout session and then I'll start moving people around okay so um, room number one okay and then room number two so let me start okay let's go to one two three four okay four people I'm gonna move them to room number one okay and then one two three four I'm gonna move these people to room number two one two three four I'm gonna move these people to room number three you'll see this uh, because I'm show recording it one two three four I'm gonna move them to room number four okay I've got one more room left right um, so let me uh, move okay so I've got four people uh, I didn't I messed up three four I'll move these people to room number four all right now five one two three four I'm gonna move these people to room number five how many do I have left two people are gonna have fun now the new ones that come I'll probably put them also in room number six okay so now everybody's in a room okay you're all in room number let's see make sure that's correct room number six so everybody's in a room okay I'm not talking to anyone because nobody hears me all right so I'm gonna go to room number oh nobody's in room number six something happened to room number six let's see uh, people are not in room number six 
Okay, there, let me check, make sure that, oh yes, Vivian and Ralph are in room number six. Okay, so there you go, you're together. Now I'm going to go to each of the rooms and make someone a leader. All right, so let me go to room number one. I'm going to make uh, Maria the leader. Okay, and I'm going to, let's see if I can make somebody, no, I can't make somebody else. Only one person will be the leader. Room number two, I'll make, uh, let's see, Thomas. I don't know if Thomas has um, um, my, a microphone, so I'll make Patricia. Let's see what happens. Okay, room number three. Let's see who's in room number three. Okay, room number three. Question, you always have a microphone. I'll make you the lead, and then I'll go to... Um, room number four, and make, uh, let's see, Maria Abdullah. Maybe Abdullah has, let's make Abdullah the, uh, the lead. And then I'll go to room number six and um, make Vivian lead. Now let's see what happens if everybody's the lead. Room number one. Hello, room number one. Is everybody okay? Hello, Maria. How are you? I'm there for a visit. Do you have your microphone? Is it working? If not, I can make somebody else a leader. Yes. Yes, you need to. You're the leader, Maria. I hear you. All right. What you're going to do, your mission, okay. What you're going to do is you're going to get as much information as you can about developing a Moodle course. What do you need, all of you, to develop? A Moodle course. What are your requirements? Okay, that's your mission. All right, all right. I'm gonna go on to the next group. All right. Let's go uh, to uh, room number two. Hello. Yes. Ooh, it's too loud. Do you have? Uh, can you lower the volume in your microphone? You need a headset. Okay, let's see. Who's the leader in room number two? Um, Patricia, you need to lower the volume. Okay, I'll tell you what your mission is. It's echoing because you need a headset. So does anybody in your group have a headset? Tell me in the chat. Give me a thumbs up if you've got a headset. Okay, I'm going to make Thomas. Okay, I took away your... Um, I think I did. Okay, I gave the rights to... Th oh, hello, Thomas. You've got your headset. Is that you, Thomas? It's not Thomas, so who is it? Ah, uh, this must be another room then. Okay. In any case, it's not Thomas. All right. Does your microphone work? Okay, could you... Your mission is to find out from your team everything you need. What do you require? Okay, what do you require? to get your Moodle course going? What do you need to develop a Moodle course? Okay, that's the question. What do you need for a Moodle course? All right, I'm going to go now to room number three. Okay, this is number three. Hello. Hello, Sebastian. The question is, what do you need to develop a Moodle course? What does everybody in your group need to develop a Moodle course. Okay, so you have uh, the microphone, Sebastian. You're the only one, because you're the leader, you're the only one that so, has uh, a mic yes. capability. So, uh, Isn't that amazing? See. Yes, exactly. uh, I thought there was an So you're the only one that can be heard. Lead, you're the leader. But I was not sure about it. 
So I just checked. I saw there was a notification that I uh, so I that I was not sure about it. Yes. So I just checked. You're the lead and you can speak. The, the mission is what do you guys need a server? to get a Moodle <laughs> course going? Well, first. What do you need, okay, to develop a Moodle course? Well, you decide. You guys decide okay. what you need for a course. I didn't say a Moodle website, I said a course, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go on to the next group. All right. This is uh, group number four. Hello, group number four. Okay, this is group number four. You feel kind of lonely in group number four? All right, can you hear me in group number four? Give me a smiley if you can hear me. I just came into your room. All right, you can hear me. Great. So smile. All right, I don't know if any of you have... Um, I'm going to give uh, Diana. Diana, do you have a mic? Are you able to use the mic? I've just made you a lead, which means that if you have a microphone, you would be able to use it. I'm going to give it to Maria now and see what happens. Maria? Uh, I don't there, know. I see Maria. Maybe Hello, Diana. Diana. Is that Diana or Maria? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's me, Diana. Oh, great. All right, Diana. Hello, Diana. Okay, Diana, come back. I just made you the lead of the group so that only you get to see you after all this time of not seeing your lovely face. Now I see what you look like and I'm very pleased. Okay. What I'd like you to do is you're the leader. You're the only one that has um, the microphone. So if you can find out from you, the mm -hmm. members of your room, your team, what they need to develop a Moodle course. What do you guys need? to develop a Moodle course, because that's what you're going to do for the week. During the week, you're going to develop your own Moodle course. So what do you need? Okay, so find out and be ready to speak about it. All right, I'm going to go to the next group. This is group number five. Hello, group number five. Does anybody have a microphone? I'm going to try to give, oh, I see somebody coming up. Hello, uh, Diago, do you have a microphone available? I'll tell you what the mission is. I'm going to try Maria. Let's see if Maria has a microphone. Your uh, task is, oh, Maria doesn't. Okay, let me try uh, Imelda. Your task is to ask one another and collect the information what do you need to develop a Moodle course okay that's what you're gonna do during the week you're gonna develop a Moodle course what do you need okay so gather the information what do you need to be able to create a Moodle course how can I help you okay that's what you need you can do you can use the whiteboard you have everything to uh, and um, the lead, who is now Imalda, can give you um, full rights. Let's see, Abdullah, do you have a microphone now? All right, so nobody has a microphone in this room. So you'll be able to use the chat. But Abdullah will be able to give you writing tools. Okay, Abdullah, because you're the leader. So you can do anything in the room. So use your powers. Okay, the question is, what do you need, you, okay, all of you in the room, what do you need from me so that you can create a Moodle course? How can I help you? What do you need? Abdullah is going to uh, give you tools so you can maybe use the whiteboard or give you writing tools. Okay, write, make a list of things that you need. Okay, and I'm going to go on to room number six. Number six, uh, Viviana, do you have a microphone? If not, I can try giving the microphone to Ralph. Let's see if we have Ralph. 
Ralph, do you have a microphone? Okay, if not, I'll tell you what your... Okay, I'll tell you what the uh, task is. The two of you will discuss what you need for a Moodle course. And you're going to ask me so I can help you. Okay, what yeah, you're going to yes. do this week is you're going Hello. to create a Moodle course. What? Oh, there you are. Hello, Ralph. Good to see you. Yeah, yes. Wow. Hello. Okay, that's great. That's exciting. I'm so glad you have a microphone and a webcam. That's the way you should come to class. Ready. <laughs> okay, that's excellent. Okay, so you and uh, Viviana will be discussing what you need okay. because what you're going to do during the week is you're going to create a Moodle course. So what do you need? Okay. All right, so discuss that and um, be ready in about uh, five minutes, okay? If that, I, sh I think that should give you enough time. Uh, by the way, Ralph, you also have rights as the leader, so you, okay. can give, Thank you. Uh, you can work on the whiteboard, you can do a lot of things. So explore and have fun. Okay, thank you. Great. All right, so I'm going to go to uh, room... How's it going here in room number one? Okay, so um, you can speak, Maria. You have uh, full control of the microphone. You're the only one. You asked me why didn't you see me. I don't know how to make you happy. They can hear you. They can hear you. They can hear me, and they can hear you. But I can only talk to so, uh, But they don't have mics. Only you. That I have with me. But I can only talk to Hussein. Yes, ex you can talk to Letty uh, and uh, Hussein. Yes, exactly. There are three people there right now. Okay. So don't forget, you're trying to find out what everybody needs to start a course. Okay, so let me go to room number two. Hello, room number two. How is it going? Thomas, I believe you've got full microphone rights, so you can speak. You're the only one with the rights. Okay, so what do you need to set up and to develop a Moodle course. What do you need from me? You do, ah, Thomas, you think you don't have the mic? But you do actually, I see you. Ah, maybe you haven't set it up properly. Or it's not working, your mic maybe, you don't have a mic on your headset. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Does anybody in the group have, uh, let's see, maybe we can give it to Shanaz. Shanaz, do you have a microphone? No. Oh, I see, I see Thomas, thank you. Uh, Natalie? Do you have a microphone that's working? Patricia, perhaps you have a microphone that's working? I think you do, but it's not set properly. Okay, I'm going to leave so that you can speak. Maybe it's better. Um, oh, I see. But you do have a microphone, Shanaz. Shanaz, you do. If you have a microphone in your laptop, that's a microphone. You, you just need to speak to it. Um, you can add, you know, what I add, a headset. You need to have a headset, like a phone um, headset. That's what I use. Okay, you need to have um, one of these. Whoops. Okay, so next time you come to class, be ready. Uh, get a very basic microphone. It can be cheap. Okay, the cheaper, I think sometimes the better. Just one of these uh, microphones. That's what I use. You know, you just stick it in, and then, you know, it has a, a speaker. That's all you need. Something very, very 
uh, cheap. I could I could give it to you. Okay, here. <laughs> So you could probably speak. All right. So I'm going to give back the uh, the lead to um, Thomas, who's going to lead you through. And um, the question is to find. Good to see you, Thomas. I haven't seen you ever, uh, so it's nice to see you. <laughs> um, after how many years? I think we've known each other for a couple of years, so it's good to see you. All right. So you guys figure out what you need so you can set up um, a course mm, since uh, 2000. What, so three years? Let's say, uh, All right, I'm going to go on to the next room. Can interact. Okay. So, um, Sebastian is doing fine. <laughs> kind of, go ahead. Kind of the same, something like that. How's it going? Kind of the same, something like that. Okay, you're having a good time. That's good. Okay, there's no microphone here, but I hope you're getting information in the chat. You don't really need a microphone. Okay, so everybody's doing fine. Let me see if I need... Um, okay, I'll leave you people alone. Okay. And now I'm going to see if somebody's here without a room. Okay, so let's see, uh, main room. Anybody in the main room? Ah, oh, Nancy, I see you're stuck here in the main room. Let me put you in a room <laughs> so you won't be lonely. Sorry about that. I don't know if you were able to hear me, but okay. So, well, uh, we've got uh, two more people. Maybe I could put Nancy in room number. I don't know if Nancy has... Relatively fresh. All right. Cool. So, let's see. Yeah. Pull in the new room. Fresh. There we go. Uh, I put Nancy in there. Too. Oh, you gave. We see other. That's great. Perfect. Okay, I'll let you people continue. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna try to put uh, Nancy. Nancy has usually has a microphone, so let's see if I can find Nancy from the main room. I think she's in six. See if I can move her. Try to move Nancy to room number, where's Thomas? Think room number four. Room number four. The two of us here. Okay. <coughs> Here. Okay, Nancy, I'm moving you to room number uh, number five, okay? Okay, I just made Nancy uh, the lead. Nancy, do you have um, do you have your webcam and microphone Hi. set up? Yay! Yes! Hello! Hi, Nancy. Sorry for disturbing you I like this, coffee. but we needed someone with a microphone. Sorry, your mouth is... Would you like some coffee? coffee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I have coffee. Okay, great. You look wonderful. Good to see. Anyways, nobody in this room has a microphone, so I thought it would be great if you could kind of lead. I'll tell you what it is. We're trying to figure out what do you need to start to develop a Moodle course. Okay, that's what everybody has to figure out. And could you um, aggregate the information? What does everybody need to start a Moodle course? Because in the, this week, everybody's going to start their own course, Moodle course. So ask them what they need. And you can also give hey, other people rights, I believe. I'm As the leader, you can give them me, um, okay. tools. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Now I see it. Okay. My screen? Okay, thank you. Um, okay, great. All right. Have fun. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm simply sipping my coffee. Um, Sanu, 
I think you're in a room now, so you're not here. Anybody in, in this room right now? If you are, it means... Oh, I see two more people have joined. Okay, Nupadan. So let me explain what's happening here. Um, I'm going to be putting you in a room with others because you're going to uh, discuss what you need to start a Moodle course. This week, you're all going to get your very own Moodle course. But what do you need? To develop a course okay so I'm gonna put you in a room uh, let's see I'll put uh, one of you in room number six I think room number four three room number three and the other person I'm gonna put in room number one okay that should work all right Two hundred and um, yes, right away because I had I was working with two universities at the same time. I was learning. Okay, guys, five more minutes. Yes, right away. Five I more minutes. Okay, now you can see there aren't any people left um, in the room, in the main room. Everybody uh, is in the breakout rooms. Uh, right now, uh, if I go through the list, you can see how many people are in the room. So four in room two, for example, sorry, four in room one, four in room two, five in room three, three in room four, five in room five, and three in room six okay now I'm gonna leave them for now if anybody comes in I'll be able to put them in a room and um, the task is to discuss what they need for Moodle to start a Moodle course okay so um, I'm going to tell everybody that their time is coming up okay more minutes before, before uh, um, my we wrap up and you come back to the room. Year, and I want to um, create... Uh, you've uh, got three minutes so before we I rejoin in the main room. Okay. Three more minutes before we go back. Oh, okay, so get ready. Just see the, edit, the video. Thank you. Okay. Okay. This is a big group. We've got about three minutes before we rejoin. Okay, three more minutes. Thank you. Um, more or less like that because. Okay, room three, uh, room six. We've got three more minutes before we go back to the main room, and then we'll hear from you. Okay, so that's the main room. I'm in. Oh, Faisal! Hello, Faisal! Faisal, you came in late. We're doing breakout rooms, but let me put you in room number one. Okay, I'm gonna put. No, I think room number six would be best. So I'm gonna put you in room number six. Okay, we're we're discussing what you need to create a Moodle course. Okay, because you're going to create a Moodle course in this week or start. Okay, so there I put Faisal in room number six, and um, two more minutes to go. Actually, it's almost the end of the class. I should hurry. Okay, there are five minutes to go. We won't have much time. I may have to extend. All right, so everybody's in a room. Right now, we've got one, seven, twelve, fifteen, twenty, twenty-four people. And I think somebody just came in. Do we have a new uh, person? So if you see someone, you have to go into the main room and then you'll see if somebody has just joined the class. But it seems to be that uh, everybody is in a room. I see that people are also going offline and online. I'm wondering about that. 
why that happens. It wouldn't happen in a normal... Well, people in a normal face-to-face -face class also go out and come back and go out and come back. So, you know, this is something that happens. But in a virtual class, I'm wondering, you know, does somebody have to go be excused? And then they come back. Okay, so let's see. A couple more seconds to go. I extended the class just to make sure. Um... I see Maria Bassan is also offline. They should be coming back. All right, so I'm going to get everybody out of the room. Notice how that's done. Okay, um, I'm going to go move, okay, to the main room. Okay, so this is how it's done. I, um, how I get people back. Okay, so I do this by... There are a few ways. The best way is to just stop. Okay, so I delete the room. Okay, but that's a very painful way of doing it. So no, you just look end breakout session. Okay, that's the nice way of doing it. And then as you can see, there is zero everywhere. So it has ended. Okay, so welcome back everybody. Uh, you're coming back to your rooms. Okay, so uh, you'll see this in the screen sharing. Okay, I'm going to stop screen sharing. Okay, but you'll be able to see what happened, and that was the point. Okay, to get you to see what happened, I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint presentation, and I'm going to give um, your leaders a chance to explain what went on and what are some of your needs. Okay, so um, I can do that by voice if we have enough time. Okay, so uh, let me briefly see how that works. Maria, I'm going to give you the microphone. If you could just um, share a few ideas, what do you need? In addition, to save time, I'm also going to get a new... Okay, and I'm going to give the leaders the right to... Okay, let's see who the leaders were. I have to remember who the leaders were. Hello, Maria. We see you. I think um, Thomas was a leader. Yes. So, could you share? What do you need? What do you people need? What do you need? Okay, there's Thomas, and I'm going to give Sebastian voice in a minute. Thank you for raising your hand, Sebastian. Well, um, what I need. Okay, so Maria, uh, what do you, I, what do you need? What I need when I am in my guru class or when I set up a guru? Um, no, what do you need to set up a class? I'm going to give you uh, an opportunity, not a class, sorry, a course. What do you need to set up a course? Yes. Oh, well... No, I don't mean you personally. I mean, as a group, what did you decide on? As as a group, what do you what do you, what does everybody need? Then I also I also okay maybe okay as a workshop and also so they can make so they can be friends. They can know each other, get to know each other. Thing I also I always do is that I said two for one socialize and want to start working and what they want. And of course the contents are very important and the syllabus. If you don't have a syllabus for a course, then you don't have a guide. Okay, thank you, Maria. Thank you so much. All right, um, what do you need to get you started to develop a course? Um, okay, let's uh, hear from um, Sebastian. You can also use, uh, Maria, you can write this down in the, um, on the whiteboard. Some of the things that the well, people mentioned, you can add to the whiteboard. So, Sebastian, well, we'll what do you guys about need content to, uh, need to, to, be to able get to you started? Content. 
whether uh, uh, video or or, or visual or writing whether uh, because video uh, most of the of us teach language so uh, content was uh, very most of the of us teach language so uh, content was and also we need to interact with the students through different activities okay all right um so we need to interact with the students i'm going to write okay thank you uh what about ralph a uh, sebastian yes write some of the things that your yes, um, group came up with ralph, we didn't get you quite do? far Just because uh, we had some troubles with Moodle connectivity course. however uh, yes. we thought about um, we didn't get quite yeah far thinking about goals is most important however, and um, also bringing about, those blocks um, together in a about goals, making sense order and, and however me and Vivian would wish that getting a profound start in how to create however, Moodle course would be great would wish that getting a Hello? start yeah. in how to create Moodle course would be great okay excellent excellent uh, yes Thank you, Diane. A, Ralph, could you write it down, please? Uh, group six, if you could write yes. it down. Actually, it's uh, room six. If you could write down the points. And Diane? Oh, thank you <laughs> about the lovely face. I, we don't, okay. yeah, but we don't see your okay, lovely face. Okay, I'm just afraid that my connection is not so you, um, Oh, thank you. you oh. Yes, because people are moving around away, here. You took away the webcam. So, um, actually, we didn't go oh, far. Oh, I see. Okay, that's fine. Because I had only one participant who didn't use Moodle <laughs> at all. So, um, that's why we need, first of all, we need knowledge about Moodle, what Moodle is. <laughs> so, and, um, but we discussed, we discussed the um, activities which we can use uh, in a course. So, um, and I've learned some other uh, fancy platforms, you know, so like, Oh my goodness, and I didn't, I put it somewhere, but I cannot find it right now. Okay, uh, something, something, uh, the name is just like Moodle, well, not just like Moodle, but it looks like Moodle in writing and so, uh, the name is no, uh, no, uh, I don't know, if, uh, Maybe noodle. I'm sorry, forgot, forgot to put it down, you know. Uh, somewhere here because now it's the, the general chat and I cannot find it here. Uh, well, anyway, first of all, we need information about Moodle and uh, uh, we need uh, the ideas, the okay. content, as uh, Sebastian said. Content and the knowledge about Moodle. Um, you can hear me. Okay, very good. I was Thank in, like, you. The last Nancy? And a half. But in my group, Nancy came in a bit um, late, so I'm, I apologize. In my group, they are all uh, absolute neophytes. They need to know everything there is to know about Moodle from the absolute beginning. So, how to set up a title, how to post in the course, how to put up your profile, how to teach your students. And I was suggesting not only Moodle for Teachers courses, but also getting onto YouTube and looking at the Moodle tutorials that you've done on your YouTube channel, I've done on mine, and the millions of other YouTube um, Moodle-related things that different schools and people put up, because then you can see what a Moodle classroom looks like and get not only skills teaching, but a good idea of how other people are using Moodle. So I was suggesting that at the end. But they basically said, everything, we need everything from the beginning. <laughs> That's excellent. I just wanted to say that Nance, everybody once started with Moodle. It's nobody was born into Moodle, and it, it really is easy to learn, but it's, it takes time. And I think now it's even easier, Nancy, than when you started or Thomas started in 2009 or 2010. Now Moodle is really easy. 
uh, with Moodle 2.5 plus. A lot easier and a lot more fun, I think. All right, did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. And we've got some ideas on the whiteboard. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Nancy um, and anybody else would like to help. Sebastian, I think you're familiar with Moodle as well. Ralph, I'm not sure. Uh, since you mentioned learning, but we are, you are going to get a Moodle course and uh, you'll be learning how to develop your own Moodle course starting this week. Okay, so um, let me just um, take everybody off because it is a bit constraining on the system. It seems that the system is really um, crying, that it's too slow. Uh, what's happening on WizIQ now is that the system actually uh, manages to um, balance itself. There is a, a uh, some kind of uh, program that allows the WizIQ class to equalize because there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of people from all over actually, so um, it's trying to uh, equalize. You don't have to. Um, take away your webcam it does it by itself all right so let me continue thank you for all the information now you know what you need I think it's really uh, helpful to um, to get started so we've got the building blocks we know what we need okay which is very very important some of you are more experienced with others and the task of the week is to develop a Moodle course what I need from you is a name for your course and a description and I'm gonna throw all of you into the pool <laughs> the swimming pool the Moodle pool okay I'm gonna create a course for everyone what I need you to do is to send me your name well of course I'll get your email from the message. So I need the name of the course, your name of course, the name of the course, description of the course, okay, and send it to Nelly Deutsch at gmail.com and you will be getting a course. <coughs> You'll be starting a course. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's what it's about to thank you so send me uh, the information and we'll get started and Nancy and uh, the others will be helping the, those who know something about Moodle <coughs> excuse me <coughs> 